At the tone, 10 hours, 59 minutes. Coordinated Universal Time. Good morning, this is Tom Stiles, and it's almost 7 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time here in Florida, and I'm all set up to try to capture Spencer on China Radio International, and the Beijing Hour show starts at 7 a.m. Uh, local time, or 7 p.m. their time, when I say local time, local to me. So we're going to try to grab him this morning. Uh, I've got WWV here, and it's coming in pretty strong, even um, picking up the Hawaii station. So we're going to move over to 5955. That's one of the frequencies that Channel Radio broadcasts on. And we're going to see if they come in at 7 a.m. Okay, according to my clock on the wall, it's 7 a.m. And pretty sad reception there on that frequency, but I've got a couple more, so let me try another one. Six zero two zero nada seven two zero five. Yeah, something <laughs> something there on the side. A uh, single sideband, probably an amateur. You know, this is uh, in the, close to the amateur radio band. So let's try nine five seven zero zero. Well, that's dead. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, we got one more here, and there's a lot more, but these are the ones that I've been able to get in the past. One, three, five, nine, zero. Whoops. One, three, five, nine, zero. Go on. Something there. Just not very clear. That could be him, but it's pretty poor. Yeah, you can. It, I know you probably can't see it, but the S meter is like all over the place. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Maybe you can see the S meter just for the novelty of it. Let me slide the camera around here a little bit. Yeah, you still can't see it very well. There it is. So you can see it's all over the place. I'm pretty sure that's Channel Radio. And the frequencies I wrote down were, theoretically, according to the listing I looked at, 
originated or transmitted from Beijing. So it's supposedly making the full trip over to Florida. And that's, that's really what I wanted to do is to be able to hear, hear Spencer coming directly from Beijing. That's kind of my challenge. Um, instead of, you know, one of the local transmitters, like it's, there's one south of Florida that's not too far away that usually they boom in. But, you know, that's not a challenge. Well, we'll continue to listen um, and see if the band conditions change and I can uh, pick him up. Let me zoom back out here for a second. How do you like my uh, new novelty speakers? They, uh, they had them on sale on Amazon for, I think, $17, $16.95 or something like that. So it's a novelty, but I thought... You know, it'd be good to have kind of a visual feedback on um, receptions. And I have noticed when the station is coming in clear, um, these things will go full scale. So, you know, I can uh, sit back and work on my computer across the room and see kind of the reflection of this in the room that, hey, something's happening. Now, the way I've got it set up right now is I've got it connected to the uh, headphone output jack, which means I have to turn up the volume for it to, to hear anything. Now, the other option is I could use the line out, and then I could turn the volume off so that um, I'm not hearing all that noise and just go on the visual effect. But the the one problem with these cheaper ones, I mean these these range from you know sixteen ninety five to fifty dollars, depending on their capability, their function, their sound, da 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 da. Um, in, in a, you know, these were on sale. That's because they are the cheapest around, well, possibly the cheapest around. So they don't have a lot of functions. They, um, they use the, a USB cable for power. And so right now I'm using a USB AC adapter to give them power. And um, they have no controls on them at all. So there's no volume control or, or level control or anything like that. You just plug them in and you use your device with a radio or an MP3 player to control the volume. And uh, it's got plenty of volume. It doesn't take much to drive them. The audio fidelity is okay. That's the best I can say. It's, it's just okay. It's not the best. Um, I definitely wouldn't use these for listening to quality music. Nah, you don't want to do that. Um, and typically, these kinds of speakers, that's about what they are. But it, number one, it's a novelty. Number two, it gives me a visual indication of what's going on. And just for grins, I'm going to move it over to the line out and just see what kind of signal level I'm getting. That's adequate. But of course, there's no, uh, as I said before, let me get this plug back in. Um, there's on the radio, I mean, radio, gee whiz, on the speakers themselves, there is no volume or level control. So as you saw, 
when I plugged it into the line out, then th there was enough volume with the line out that you could hear the speakers. So it didn't do what I wanted it to do, which was to just give me a visual and not give me the audio. So I don't know how much more you'd have to pay to get ones that you could control the actual audio coming out of speakers uh, separate from the visual. Don't know. But it's a novelty. Let's just see if China Radio's back. If that is China Radio, it's getting stronger. It's still pretty unintelligible. And Spencer could tell me whether that was him or not that I'm hearing. Let me turn it back up for a few seconds. Change the filter here. I'll detune it a little bit. Let me try um, five nine five five again. No, it's worse. Uh, nine five seven zero. Ooh, some kind of interference. Change the bandwidth. Yeah, the S meter is zero there. Let's go back to um, 13590. Yeah, I, I can't really tell if that's Spencer or not. I'm going to uh, go ahead and continue to uh, monitor this and stop the recording now. And if I capture something later, that'll be great. If I don't, well, I think Spencer told me he's going on vacation for a couple of days or weeks, months, years. I don't know. But this was kind of the last shot before he went on vacation. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this show, please give me a thumbs up. Spencer, give me an email if that was you or not. Let me turn it back on for a few more seconds. I'm going to do one more thing before I uh, shut the video down. I'm going to do a scan and see if I can uh, find him. See if I can put this in. There we go. It's in scanning mode now. And we just see if uh, maybe one of the... Because like I say, there are two, 20 or 30 frequencies that uh, appear in the listing for China Radio. And I just tried uh, five. That's all I tried. And I can say those are the ones from supposedly the uh, Beijing transmitter. So it's going to let the scan for uh, a little bit here. Uh, we're going to go, go up to about uh, 10 megahertz, see if any of the things it found were China Radio. So stand by for a few seconds, well, a few minutes here, while it does its scan. Last night I was testing a, uh, a device for listening to HF, and I'm going to tell you about that in a couple of shows from now. Pretty excited about it. But the, uh, the HF band last night was booming. I was uh, listening to... Uh, 40 meters, yeah, 40 meters, and the whole band was just solid transmissions from the amateur radio operators. The conditions were really good last night, at least for 40 meters, and we didn't have any storms, which we, the past week we've had storms almost every night, which means 
can't really listen to short wave. Okay, we're just going to let this go up to uh, 10 meters, and then we're going to stop it. Excuse me, 10 megahertz. Jeez. Okay. Okay, we got uh, 77 hits. Turn the volume up. No. Kids, the Safe Kids Program, education category, was won by Bray Park State School with the Bring It On Project, and finally the Partnership category, Help. That's probably Radio Australia, which you would think Radio Australia coming in, then Channel Radio should come in. I'm not sure what that is. Kind of sounds like Chinese. That kind of sounds like Chinese. No. No. Spanish. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but it's pretty loud. Hmm. I'll have to look that up later. Ooh. That's loud. Probably Tennessee. Not sure what that was. Spanish. Okay, we're going to give up on trying to get Spencer this morning. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.